the day. First things first though, I need to make my matcha and I'm really excited because today I am going to attempt to make a blueberry matcha. Blank Street invented the blueberry matcha, they just have blueberry syrup but as a healthy girly, I am gonna attempt to do it with no syrup, make a healthier version, so let's make it. So for the homemade blueberry matcha, I just have some blueberries in a blender. I'm gonna top it with some almond milk. I don't even know how much. I've never seen anybody do this before. whisking up my matcha so it's ready to go. My blueberries and milk have blended and created this beautiful purple colour. Okay guys, let's do a taste test. Kind of cute, not quite Blank Street level, but I think it would taste good, so. Hmm. You know what, the almond milk is really overpowering in this and I normally use coconut milk as well because it's sweeter. It's actually such a nice day today. The sky is blue for once and it's making me very happy. So first off of the day is going to be to do some shopping, pick up some last minute Christmas gifts that I didn't get yet, um, explore the Christmas markets, pick up some nice Christmas candles because this living room definitely needs a makeover, um, come back put my Christmas tree up, and maybe I will also end up seeing my boyfriend tonight and we might go on a date, so that will be really fun. That noise is just happiness to me. Okay, let's go shopping. These are the vibes. I was carrying so many bags and I'm in my Uber home now, but I meant to film so much more of that and I couldn't because my arms were literally gonna fall off. I didn't really think it through, um, but mission success. I literally got every single thing I needed. All Christmas presents are done, Christmas decorations. I can't wait to show you guys what I got. But I just got home, it's 1 p.m. and I realized I have not eaten anything all day. And I'm that level of hungry where I don't have the patience to cook. So I thought this is actually a great time to head to the Christmas market. I haven't actually like eaten there properly before, so we'll see if we can find something. Um, but I definitely want to get chocolate covered strawberries, 100%. It's time to get the festive spirit. Let's go again. I'm at the markets. Let me see what I can grab. That is somewhat healthy, but I also don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, crepes. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. We got nuts. <laughs> Some girl just walked past me and she was like, oh my god, she's a vlogger. Yes, I am. I actually think these are coated in sugar and I did not expect that. So I might save these for my boyfriend later. Not me shoving nuts in my bags. There we go. Round two. Let's see if I can get something more filling. Some guy in the street just stopped me and he was like, are you from Bollywood? Cheers. 
lunch is secured. Honestly, everywhere I went, it was either hot dogs or pretzels, so I just had to settle for a pretzel. But it's got veggies in it, it's got protein. I'm not mad about it, it's Christmas. We're gonna have a treat day. It's actually really good. Thanks so much! That's a Bollywood! Bollywood, apparently! Ah, <laughs> oh, what a good day! Anyways, I secured the chocolate covered strawberries and also that pretzel sandwich was actually better than I thought it would be. Mmm! just got home guys and I decided to check my parcels and this is everything that there was so the concierge helped me load it onto this lobby like my little bags in there all cute but yeah we got a Christmas tree we got decorations I just went to my supermarket as well to pick up a few things okay first things first I just want to do a deep clean of this entire place um, I just need to clean all the surfaces, do a hoover, and then we are going to have a nice chatty life update and haul. And then my boyfriend's going to get here, we're going to put the tree up, we're going to redecorate, and all the Christmas vibes are going to be here. But right now, cue the music, I'm going to get my Christmas playlist out, which I already made a few days ago. And let's go. is now nice and squeaky clean so let's do a haul before we start redecorating okay first things first I went to Sainsbury's just to pick up a few things for the kitchen and I was gonna get myself a fresh bouquet of flowers like I do every single week to put in a vase on my kitchen and I found these with all of the roses how cute is that? So we got two bunches of the brown pine cones and then some gold. And I thought that would make a actually really cute bouquet. And they're long lasting, you know, they're not gonna die like flowers. This is my granddad's Christmas present. So I ordered this into the store because it was easier to collect than get it delivered. Um, so these are a bunch of jumpers. Now my granddad wears the same two jumpers in different colors like all the time. So I went online, found the exact same brand, ordered them into store so I can update his collection. And he's a very hard person to shop for. So I'm actually proud of myself. I killed it with that this year. Then of course I got wrapping paper because we're going to be wrapping gifts tonight. I had a very specific idea in mind of the wrapping I wanted to do. I wanted it to be very aesthetic. I want to put effort into it this year. You know, I'm grown. I live alone. I want to be visiting my family. And like, I have not seen them since September. Like, it, like by the time I see them again, it will be Christmas. I'm not seeing them between then because I'm so busy. So that'll be two months. And so, you know, I've got to make my entrance good with all of these amazing wrap gifts. The vision is basically neutral wrapping paper. And then I knew I wanted like a glittery, transparent organza ribbon. And I think that's going to look amazing on all of the gifts. I can't wait. So hopefully two rolls will last me because I have a lot of gifts to wrap. I'm gifting both of my grandparents and then one two three four five of my cousins my five first cousins so a lot of gifts to give this year i got both of these from tk maxx when i went to go pick up my granddad's gift and then i also went to tiger i had no intention of getting anything and i actually ended up getting so much their christmas decorations are amazing so you know your girl had to get a cute christmasy mug i love this little snowman i then found these red candy cane ornaments and all of the baubles I bought for my tree are white and gold. And I thought just kind of placing these sporadically throughout the tree would be so cute. 
So I actually got a bunch of these. I also found this in TK Maxx. I forgot I never ordered a star for the top of my tree. So hopefully this one fits. Just basic glittery gold. I randomly picked up a lint roller from Tiger because I desperately needed one. And then another thing I found from TK Maxx is the cutest Christmas candle you ever did see. It smells divine. This is vanilla peppermint and the description is whipped buttercream frosting melted with peppermint, sweet vanilla and cane sugar. I love this and the little candy cane. So I think that will sit so nicely on my coffee table. And then I went to Selfridges to get the remaining Christmas gifts. I've ordered everyone's Christmas gifts apart from my two youngest cousins. One is four years old and one is literally two months old. So for my four-year-old cousin, I got this cute little Lego set. It was so hard finding toys that were age appropriate. They were literally all for like eight years old and up. And then for my little baby cousin who was just born recently, I got this one. It's colorful, little stacking blocks. So I thought that'd be cute. I have five Christmas gifts to wrap today. That's all that's arrived so far. And then I'll have some in the coming weeks, which are still due to arrive. I'm gonna start unboxing the stuff that I ordered online. I ordered this so long ago. I actually don't know what's in each of these boxes. Oh, amazing. So this is for my tree. This is snow spray. And because I wanted the tree to be as neutral as possible, I plan on putting it on that white wall over there, by the way, right there. Um, I ordered a half tree and it's green and I wanted it to look snowy, but it's just super basic. Didn't want to go too crazy. I don't know what's in here. What the hell? Guys, has someone sent me a gift? What the hell is this? It's a gift. Stop. Stop. Wait, what? Oh my god! That is so effing cool! Look at these cookies! It's a brand that I've worked with so many times, Smarty Sim. They sent me some cookies! That is so cute! And a little Christmas card! We have another box that I have no idea what's in it. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Nos! People are sending me Christmas gifts! I'm so happy right now. Ah! I had no idea any of this was coming. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Should I wrap this and put it under the tree like to myself? No, I definitely don't have the patience for that. This is another Christmas gift. This came so quickly. Oh, I got this for my cousin. Look how cool these Air Forces are with the green detail. I, I have five first cousins but they're all like siblings to me because I'm an only child. I'm the eldest grand kid. So now that I have a big girl job with big girl money, I am so excited that I get to spoil them. Like you have no idea. This, just this, like being able to order my family like gifts and surprise them with things that they probably wanted for ages is the best feeling. I, I can't even put it into words. I just can't wait to see the look on their faces and just let them be spoiled because I know they don't spoil themselves. Okay, look what I got. I forget where I ordered this from. I can't take this off because they've tied it into the box, but it's this snowy, like these snowy Christmas tree branches with baubles, pine cones, and then it has lights built in. I just need to put the batteries in. And I think I'm gonna put this like on my TV stand. <gasps> I have not taken Christmas seriously since I was about eight years old. Like when I was a kid, my parents used to spoil me and it's like, you know, everyone gets you gift, gifts and it's whatever and it's for the kids. When you're a teenager, at least in my family, everyone just stopped caring. <laughs> and then Christmas was always just a little bit of a disappointment, you know, that no one put effort into it. People forgot to get gifts and stuff. I didn't have my own money to like make it my own experience. And like this year, the fact that I get to do it in my own living space for the first time and then also go home to my family and see them is so exciting. I feel like a little kid. If you are a teenager right now and you feel like, oh, Christmas is just so boring when you get older, no. Just wait, just wait until you have your own space. You grow up a little bit more and you can make it everything you've ever wanted it to be my inner child is so happy right now i can't even tell you with christmas plans as well i'm hosting my family's christmas dinner i did it for the first time last year where i cooked the turkey and everything all by myself from scratch and it was really daunting but i pulled it off and everyone said it was the best christmas the family had ever had so i've decided to do it again because i feel like when i have the control over it it actually ends up being a much better time because like i organize games i have the dinner i'll make drinks and stuff 
and it actually feels like a party. The week before I go back home for Christmas, me and all of my friends are gonna host a big Christmas dinner in my apartment building. Me and my best friend Marnie, we're gonna do all the cooking. We're, we've invited like five of our friends each and we're gonna just mix our friends together. And that is also something I've never done. In fact, I've always been scared to do something like that because hello, introvert vibes. But I think that would just be really wholesome, like everyone on a dinner table, home cooked meal. Um, so I'm actually really excited for that. This is, you know what, I love adulting. I love it. Like, yes, it's a bit scary, bills, taxes, all of that, but for the most part, I love it. And if anyone tells you that your life goes downhill when you're an adult, they are so wrong. And I am living proof of that. Then I got these two massive parcels from Menet de Bois. I've never bought from them before. And I'm not gonna open it until I film my Black Friday haul when everything's arrived. So stay tuned because that video will come out next week. And then the very last box is the Christmas tree. I'm not even gonna attempt this until my boyfriend gets here. He's literally driving here now. So we can do this together because I need his muscle. Guys, as I've been filming this, I've been watching the prettiest sunset. Let me show you. My boyfriend is now here, sneezing in the background. And he got me a little gift, because he knew I was filming a Christmas vlog. It's a little cactus, Santa cactus. So I'm fine a place for this as well, but. Cactus claws. Cactus claws. <laughs> That's so good. So we're gonna do the tree, and then we're gonna go out for dinner, because I'm starving. Let's do it! It is pre lit, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, and then do the next level. Ooh, yeah, that looks so perfect. It's a bit short though, but it is what it is. No, that's it's all. Okay. 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 Yeah, now there's an art to this. Okay. Do you tell? Oh, and I got a little candy canes to put on, but we'll do that. Three inches. I just about had it. Um, you know what? It's only a matter of time until I'm bumping into this every day when the wall wasn't coming down smashing. Oh! We're supposed to spray it with snow! Oh my god, yeah! Make sure you put it like, down, I guess. Just yeah. to What's there? What? Like here, that's a bit green. Okay guys, we've done the tree, we put the star on top and our finishing touch is this little ornament. So last year for Christmas, we were like three months into being a couple, four months, four. And we made little Christmas boxes for each other with loads of little treats. And as part of the thing that I gave him was this ornament. And I said, one day we're gonna end up putting a tree up together for the first time as a couple and this will be our ornament and i had no idea that was gonna happen only one year later like as we were putting this tree up we were just discussing how we literally manifested this where should we put it here we go <laughs> there it is candy canes the only thing is i thought it would be pre-lit and it's not so i'm gonna buy some lights for this my boyfriend wants to try and spray the snow on the window so we're gonna see what happens with that Kitchen door? Huh? Middle one? I mean, you're the artist, this is all you. I know, I don't know. I don't know if this is even going to be nice. It is, it is. Ew! What is this? That actually looks. I think this is your ass. <laughs> it's not cute, you do. <laughs> Yeah. You do it. 
Let's go. Let's go. It's date night. We're at our favorite Turkish slash Moroccan restaurant. It's called Damasina. And in, this is like in a park where they have more German markets, which we haven't been to before. It's different from the markets I went to this morning. So it's over there. We're gonna check it out afterwards. But first we're gonna have our flatbreads and have a yummy dinner. <laughs> Oh, potatoes as well. Oh, Shoot. Oh, wow. Yes, thank you. So well, I'm gonna have it right now because I'm hungry. <laughs> doing the little markets next to the restaurant we were at. Oh, cookies. Sure cookies. Art. No, I'm really full. And I had oh, a cookie. Well, I had a cookie earlier with Tristan. One, one. Why, why are you a bad influence all of a sudden? I was trying to feed him cookies earlier. He was like, no. I was saving myself Maybe for feel it. bad for having saving one. Saving myself for this. Fudge. Stop. What? I love fudge. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really good. I think I actually prefer this to the other markets, but probably because we're just not used to this one. Oh my god, they have heaters! This is this is German markets 2.0. We love it. Yeah. Oh where am I? Oh. <laughs> it's a very cute little piece. How are you, Jam? That's crazy. Hiya! Hi! Hi. No, it looks amazing! <laughs> what do you mean? Right it looks so good! I can't anything up, so that's why. So the stand we just went to was the same brand of macaroons that we painted this time last year. So it's a cute throwback. We're gonna say our goodbyes now because he's heading to a concert. I'm gonna go home and finish up the vlog and finish wrapping and stuff. So I'll stay night over. I am now back home, it's 8ish p.m. I'm about to get changed and then light a candle, make a hot chocolate, put some Christmas movies on the TV while I wrap all of the Christmas gifts and just kind of do the finishing touches to the living room, make it nice and cozy. And I'm about to get ready for all the cozy vibes. exciting time we are about to wrap all of the gifts right now so everything is pretty much done but I thought I bought a pre-lit tree and it's not so I am gonna go into town at one point and buy some lights to put on the tree I feel like that's just gonna finish off really nicely and I might buy like a little Christmassy centerpiece for my coffee table as well I've got the holiday on the TV which I'm gonna watch I have some tea in a mug here I always drink spearmint tea every single evening because of its health benefits and then I have a hot chocolate 30 minutes before bed because the one I drink has melatonin. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so aware of this. Oh, they always know just how to get a step on it. Well, let's get behind it then. Not oh, all very fantastic, but there is another one. Now, uh, we're not officially closed, as you very well know, colleagues. How gorge is that, guys? Oh, I might go out and buy like, um, like you know how you can get mini branches from leaves or like a little mini candy cane to just put on each gift. I think that would make 
an amazing finishing touch. I want to be so extra this year. This is like my first Christmas I'm creating for myself. I'm going to be so extra. This is setting the theme for the Christmases for the rest of my life. So I'm going to romanticize the hell out of it. And that is our first gift. Oh yes, let's put it like that. Gift wrapping is all done. And honestly, the bottom of the tree is pretty full, even though I have three big presents still coming in the post that I have to wrap. I've also run out of rubbing, so I'm gonna definitely have to do another shopping spree for lights and ribbon. I'm honestly so, so happy, like this being my first Christmas. Um, but I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening just chilling, taking it slow for an hour, watch the Christmas movie, drink a hot chocolate and call it a night. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.